Hey guys, today I want to show you how to set up the Innovelli Red Series on off switch with Home Assistant. One of the big decisions smart homers face when setting up their smart home is whether to go with smart switches or smart bulbs. The advantage of smart switches is that they can be controlled both remotely and manually, but they lack features like color changing capability like smart bulbs do. The problem with smart bulbs is that if they lose power, they're no longer connected to the network and you can't control them remotely. So if you have a smart bulb controlled by a switch, you turn the switch off, the smart bulb's kind of useless. This is where this Innovelli Red Series on-off switch is so awesome. It allows for controlling a smart bulb without killing power to it so it stays connected to the network. That way you can control a smart bulb both manually and remotely. I'm going to show you how that works after the setup and home assistant. Okay, so this switch can be set up as either a single pole or as a three-way switch. For this example, I'm gonna set it up as a single pole switch. Okay, so pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect your old switch and you're gonna wire this one up in its place. I'm not a licensed electrician, but you're a big boy, so you can figure it out yourself. Once it's all hooked up, go ahead and turn on the power. You can kind of test the switch, pressing the buttons, you can see it'll turn the bulb on and off like a normal switch would. Okay, so in Home Assistant, you're gonna to go to Configuration, Integrations, and then you're gonna click the Z-Wave JS Configure button, and then you're gonna click Add Node. You're gonna click Start Inclusion, and then you're gonna go over to your switch, you're gonna press this Configuration button three times quickly. If everything worked like it should, it should go back to the Add Z-Wave node message box. Close the message box and then click the refresh button in the top right corner. You should see another node is being added. Click devices and you should see a new node listed in your Z-Wave device list. It says the node's not ready, so you're gonna have to wait till it becomes ready. The screen will change when it is. Don't mess with it until then. Okay, so now that the node is ready, you can see that there is a on-off state that's reported here in the entities box, and there's also some power monitoring information. So now your switch is added to Home Assistant, but you're still missing a lot of features when it comes to triggering automations. This is where we need to install a blueprint for the switch. Someone in the Home Assistant community has developed a pretty cool blueprint for the switch. It allows for more advanced automation triggering, like double tapping, triple tapping, quadruple tapping, or five tapping buttons on the switch in order to trigger an automation. What you're gonna wanna do is copy this blueprint into Home Assistant and use this for automation triggering. In the Home Assistant file editor, go to Blueprints, Automation, and then here you're going to create a new blueprint file. Give it a name and make sure you have .yaml at the end. OK to create the file, and now click the file name itself. And now with that file open, paste in the blueprint data you copied. Even though it shows an error in the top right, click Save anyway. Now you're gonna head over to configuration and now you're gonna click automations, click create a new automation and now select the blueprint you just created from the dropdown list. Now that the blueprint's open, you can see a bunch of different options for ways to trigger automations using the buttons on the switch. On this switch, button A is the on rocker, button B is the off side of the rocker and button C is the config button. So now what's gonna happen when you put a smart light bulb into the socket, when you turn the switch off, it's gonna kill power to the bulb, the bulb will be useless. The manual that comes with this bulb shows you how you can change some settings in the switch 
using the config button. One of these settings is the option to disable the internal relay. Disabling the internal relay makes it so that pressing on or off does not change the power state of the bulb. To disable the relay, press the config button eight times quickly in succession. You're gonna wanna make sure the bulb is on when you disable this relay, otherwise it will be stuck off. Now when you try turning the switch off, you don't hear any click and the bulb stays on. Okay, so let's say I put a smart bulb in the socket. How would I control it? I'll show you now. So back in Home Assistant Automations, so you're going to choose that blueprint you created. And then what you're going to do is set up an automation that turns on this smart bulb that is connected to the network because it has power. You'll have to set up button A to turn it on and button B to turn it off. You're pretty much setting up an automation to do what the internal relay of the switch is no longer doing. While you're doing that, you could also set up the double and triple tap options for the different buttons to control whatever scenes or whatever other lights in your house that you want. So you can see here that now that I've set up this automation to turn it on and off, this switch functions like a normal switch. A slight delay because it's actually running an automation, but it's still pretty awesome. Here's an example of using the double tap action to change the bulb's color. You can do this by calling a scene triggered by the button being double pressed. One of the issues that I faced in my house that this switch solves is the problem of standing floor lamps. These lamps have smart bulbs and I have no way to manually control them. So I can just set up one of the double or triple tap options of the switch to control those lamps. I ended up setting up the switch to control every single light in my living room. A single press controls the stairway light, a double press controls the mother part of the mother-daughter lamps, a triple press controls the daughter part of those lamps, and pressing the control button will toggle the string lights. <sighs> I guess it's time to get working on that smart old manual. Anyway guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Hope you like what you saw. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more like this. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.